Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, you can only see like, oh, I've put the camera way too high. Well, anyway, hi. As promised, this is a very jet lagged Monday live. I've just set everything up to do all the things that I normally do and they were all 10 times harder. So the fact that I've got the camera not in the right place sounds right about on brand for today. Um, yes, to the point where I had one light and I had turned it on, but it hadn't come on and I just, in my head, it was on because I'd pushed the button. And then while the little intro sequence was running, I looked and went, oh, that light's not on. And I pushed the button again and it didn't change. And it was only then that I went, that's because you haven't plugged it in. <laughs> so then I plugged it in. <laughs> and yeah, so we're going to see if I remember how to scrapbook, seeing as I don't remember how to do any of these other things. It's going to be a great time. But I did warn you. Now, here's the other thing. So I came, I'm just back from Disney and um, right up into the last minute I was sewing. So I'm gonna give you an honest look at my desk really quickly. You ready? <laughs> this is the state of my desk. And this was the sewing machine, which I've moved out of the shot. And now I'm gonna move all this out of the shot. If Kelly watches, this was put on my desk to make sure that we had all things Kyber Crystal in, in hand. And we did. It's a very special box. Okay, so, you know, I was sewing a Wally dress here. Um, I was sewing the outfit that I'm wearing right now, but you can't see it because it's a skirt. Um, hold on. Let's see. This is a fabric. <laughs> I'm just going to put my skirt on the desk. It's fine. It's fine. So that's, that's what I wore to Galaxy's Edge for Halloween. Um, right. Threads and things in there. Oh, some epic trim that I didn't end up putting on anything, but I have to soon, right? Because this is adorable. Yeah. Okay, and this is my thread box, which I've just put all my scraps in. And there's a cover for my seam ripper. Should not just put that in here. It has a cover. Here it is. Okay. Right. I use my seam ripper a lot because it's never a chamel garment unless at least once I have sewn the wrong sides together when I'm supposed to do something else. Okay, so now there we go. Magic. I have plenty of room. To scrapbook, it's gonna be fine. And those can just sit over here out of the shot. So now I can move paper. Oh, oh, you didn't see the fabric. Oh no, the video is not working for you. <gasps> Hold on, what's going on? Oh, cancel. Okay, hold on, I found the problem. Are we back, are we back? That probably made you seasick right then. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me make sure I don't do the same thing again. Apparently, okay, I think, hold on. Yeah, okay, it should come back. Do, 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 do. <laughs> There's a delay between you and me, but I think I fixed it. All right, let's move some paper onto here. Okay, we're back, we're back, okay, fabulous. Sorry, apparently, I, the other thing I didn't know how to do was to put my phone, phone, I don't even know the word phone, um, into the tripod in a way that would not hit the power button and make it do that emergency thing. So it was just about to beep and ask if I really wanted, wanted it to call the police. I don't want it to call the police. <laughs> okay, Elaine's like, show me the skirt. Okay, here's the skirt. So that's, that's my skirt fabric, complete with threads now. Yes, and a witch hat made out of that fabric. <laughs> okay, so here is stuff from the October kit that I haven't used yet, including this. The castle, not that you can super tell from these photos, but it's pink. So I think I might put my Halloween outfit with the pink castle with this pink pumpkin paper. <laughs> um. dun, dun. I love that Stinkerbell's YouTube name is Awkward Stinkerbell because this now makes it so that every time I see your um, comment, I'm gonna think that you just said awkward and I'm gonna be like, yes, that's me in general. Um, <laughs> especially today. Oh, this feels funny, but it's okay. Right, I better try and do a sketch 
or it's all going to fall on its face. Let's, let's see what we can do. So <clears throat> we're going to have that in there. Yes, that's going to go. All right. Let's see what we can sketch. So I've got two photos and I printed them with borders. So they are a little smaller and then four by six. Let's see how much smaller because don't even expect me to remember that today. Hold on, bend, snap. Oh, oh, stuck snap. There we go. Bend and snap. Two more. Bend, snap. Bend. And snap. There we go. All right. So, yes, Claire says, how was Florida? It was lovely and very hot. But we had a wonderful time. Well, I had a wonderful time. <laughs> I think we had a wonderful time. Yeah. Um, yep, yep, yep. But, yeah, very hot. I actually melted through a pair of shoes. I literally melted the sole a pair of shoes. <laughs> so what does this turn out to be? This is three and a half to three and a half by five. Yeah, three and a half by five. So we had two three and a half by fives. Bethany says, how did Genie Plus free work for you? It works really well if you are a morning person. So we got a lot of use out of it. By A, you have to be somebody who's awake at 7 a.m. because that's when it all goes live. And B, then kind of having a vague plan for the day and using that to firm up the plan. So you have to be pretty flexible because the things you want may or may not come in at the time window that you want. Um, I think it's good to know, and what I where I was watching different videos about Genie Plus and stuff, they did not make this as plain as it needs to be. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this out there. If you use Genie Plus, there's a set number for the whole day, so the times will go later in the day for the popular rides. And, and, and yeah, and I think that just, people aren't making that as obvious as it needs to be. So for example, one attraction we did not do this trip is Slinky Dog. Because Slinky Dog goes almost instantly. And it's an hour long queue in general. It's a really hot queue. Where did I put, oh here. I was like, I know I saw the pink Sharpie. Where did it go? Um, and so it's a really hot queue. It's a lovely ride, but it's not in my mind an hour long wait ride. So we didn't end up doing it we, because there were plenty of other things we wanted to do in that park, so we did them instead. Um, oh, I do like it better this way, okay. Um, so the trick to that would be that if you want a lightning lane to Genie Plus, or a lightning lane to Genie, a lightning lane to Slinky Dog, you need to be booking that at 7 a.m. on the dot because otherwise it will be, um, it'll be really late in the evening or gone. They were gone at five minutes past seven one day. So yeah, um, I think, so each park, oh, I didn't t trim the top of this one. Each park has its equivalent. Um, so different, different things go really quickly. So um, yeah, I think that just needs to be known if you're gonna use Genie Plus that that the popular stuff is going to go. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, we only did Florida on this trip. No other stops. Um, do, do, do. Okay. <laughs> Kelly, yeah, Kelly says she did a 40-minute wait for Slinky Dog, and it's a very fast, um, it's a very fast ride. It is. Yeah, Toy Story Land is the hottest land in all of Walt Disney World because it doesn't have enough shade. And as well as just Epcot in general right now has nowhere near enough shade. Okay, how am I gonna do this? I'm gonna come over here. 
And we're going to put these on orange first. I'm going to build as I go today because I'm not so great at visualizing just yet. Okay, so we've got two. Whoa, jet lagged rectangles are even more creative than usual rectangles, Jamal. Okay, so there's going to be, oh, this is funny. I don't even feel like I have any control in my hand yet. This is hilarious. And WB has suddenly become old enough sometime between 2019 and today he became old enough to feel jet lag. And even though he went to bed really early last night and had a really long sleep, like he was asleep for like 13 hours. This morning, he woke up and cried into his breakfast like, no, I cannot wake up. This is too much. And he's never had that before. He's always been young enough to just like bounce up and be fine. Um, and so, yeah. Woo. We're going to have a three by four card here because I want the, this card that says I put a spell on you is going to go there, which means I'm not using that for journaling. So journaling needs a space. Let's bring it in up here, which means my title can fit in here. Um, I don't know why I just did it in cursive when I don't normally, but it's okay. And then, so let's have... Embellishment here, here, and down here. Okay. Oh my goodness. If this is the first time you've ever watched me live, welcome. Today's a madhouse. It's all right. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, so, if you would like to screen grab that particularly interesting sketch, there it is. And this does help me see. I was considering doing a half and half with that background, but now that I see how much stuff's on, piled on top of it, I'm just going to keep it the whole sheet. Okay. I better do my speech. Do I remember my speech? I don't know. Let's find out. You can, you can help me through it. Hi, my name's Shamel. I teach online scrapbooking classes, design scrapbooking products, and help you use them to tell your stories in a creative way. It's not just my hobby, it is my job, and that means any time we scrapbook on the internet, it's considered advertising, and legally, I have to make sure you're aware of that. So thank you for coming to watch my hashtag advertising. I really appreciate you being here, and there's stuff in the description box below the video that can help you if you've got any big questions about how this works, what supplies I use. Um, so this is the last live stream for October, but then there'll be... November stuff starting on Friday because I'm live on Mondays and Fridays. November is going to be interesting because my kit's not here. <laughs> um, my kit it, it, it arrived while I was here and wasn't taken in by a neighbor and it was taken back by the post and I got to track it down. So we may, be, we may end up with an extra October on Friday if the kit has not surfaced. But one way or the other... I'll be live on Friday and I'll be more awake, I think, I hope. Okay, I think that's enough of you seeing my sleepy face today. All right. Um. <laughs> because tired Shamel is tired. Sophia says this is just justification for everything today. Tired Shamel is tired. <laughs> yep. Um, right, so branding strip. <clears throat> Basics here, Shamal. Basics. You can do it. You can do it. Right. What was WB excited about because it was the first time he could ride it because he was tall enough now. So he is now tall enough for everything on Disney property with one exception, which is Rock and Roller Coaster, which is fine because I have no need to do Rock and Roller Coaster. <laughs> These are his adhesive adventure did it once on this trip. Um, I don't know that I trust me with scissors today. I'm going to do it for entertainment's sake. Okay, hold on. Um, but he did, WB wrote Tower of Terror, and his review of Tower of Terror is that he loves the theming, but he's not sure it's safe to fly out of your seat like that. And also, he may never trust me again when I'm like, come on, you can do it, it'll be fine. Mm -hmm. He may not have been impressed by that. Um, what else we got? Um, he, what else did he do? Oh, he did Space Mountain for the first time. 
Um, and we all did Cosmic Rewind for the first time. And Mummy got in a lot of trouble on Cosmic Rewind. I did a very good job of avoiding spoilers, which meant I was completely unaware. I'm not going to tell you in case you are also avoiding spoilers, but there is a certain direction on certain rides that I cannot do. And because I avoided spoilers, I did not realize and had not thought through the fact that this ride would most certainly go in that direction. And um, in WB's words, Mommy, did you say a bad word on that ride? Because I could hear you. <laughs> ah! um, but thankfully, it was not my worst fear. My worst fear was that it was going to be entirely like that. And it was not. It was short-lived and it was fine. <laughs> but for a small moment, I thought, oh, no, I did not think of that and was ready to die, jump out, anything. Um, and I think April says, no, there's been so much mo motion sickness with that um, ride. Here's the thing. So Cosmic Rewind, you move a lot. And there's a lot to see at a very high speed, all of these things. Um, and then when you get off the ride, the exit is a staircase, a, a considerable sizable staircase. I don't know who thought about this, but I tell you, they don't get motion sick or dizzy or anything because whoa boy, you need to hold that handrail if you're anything like me. <laughs> um, the, so my assessment of Cosmic Rewind is amazing Imagineering. It is so clever. It's really well done for what it is, but I never, ever, ever need to ride it again. No, thank you. <laughs> I also think the fact that it has music is the only saving grace I had. And I find this with Space Mountain because Space Mountain in California has music. Space Mountain in Florida does not. Now, California Space Mountain is also a smoother track, but... Um, in general, I find that in California Space Mountain, where I have the music to kind of focus on, because my eyes aren't getting anything. Space Mountain's in the dark. I can't focus on anything in there. So my mind can focus on the music and then not get quite so motion sick. And I think, um, I think that's why Cosmic Rewind, I think, I think if it didn't have the music, a lot more people would have dire consequences <laughs> because your, your head can at least focus on something. So I sang quite a lot through that ride to try and focus on something and not lose my mind. Okay. I was going to put that down there and see about um, if I want to add some green in this or not. Because at first I was going to match the orange with the green, but I like this kind of grayish blue I've got here. <clears throat> now I've got a brighter, I've got three options for greens. So I've got this one that's brighter, but I think, no, there is a tiny bit of green here. And it's none of those. But this one might be best. I don't know though, maybe it's better without green. Oh, Sam says, what is Cosmic Rewind? So Cosmic Rewind is a brand new roller coaster ride at Epcot um, and it is Guardians of the Galaxy themed so you get one song from I think there's six different songs that you may get for your um, um, for your ride I think there's six different ones um, yeah <laughs> April's like don't you want to go again so you get a different song um, uh, April had one way or another we had conga Gloria Estefan um, yes. <laughs> AJ took her kids on a Tower of Terror and they spent the next four years growing the story of just how horrible and scary the ride was. So the story now sounds like they survived as characters in a horror movie. I love it. I love it. Debbie, you have not missed it. Our clock's changed, so, and I was late. And I need to keep an eye to make sure I remember to pick up my kid from school and take him to swimming lessons. If he can, if he has enough energy. 
Oh, I haven't cut into this wood either. Okay, let's try the wood grain then. Yeah. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Don't do the green, but yellow or orange. Yeah, I might look. I don't have any yellow left. There was not enough yellow in this kit. Fail me. Um, doo -doo -doo. But I've got, got some orange pieces here. And I need to find something to journal on. things I could journal on. Or oh, I was just thinking in my head, things that are black are too harsh for this beautiful pattern paper in the background. And the one I can journal on is black. Let's see if I can find anything else that I could journal on. Um, these letters. None of these are really journaling, which is do that one in journal here, I think. Okay. Where did my booper go? Here. Stinker Belt loves Tower of Tower. Tower of Terror. Tower of Tower. Tower of Terror. We rode back to back so many times they gave us our own elevator. Stinker Bell, were you in the Mickey Mouse Club? Because do you know? <laughs> um, <laughs> that's what the Justin Timberlake, Ryan Gosling era Mickey Mouse Club boys used to do. That they apparently, because Mickey Mouse Club was filmed at Hollywood Studios when it was still MGM. And when they weren't filming live, they would go over and ride Tower of Terror. <laughs> There's an interview somewhere that's just adorable with them acting like this was the most rebellious thing they could ever do. Um, that they just could ride Tower of Terror infinity times. <laughs> that cracks me up. Okay, orange though, I could put in a brighter orange. April got her grandmother to go on Tower of Terror. Amazing. I still, re I really like Tower of Terror because it just does up and down. But that said, I will never eat lunch and then ride Tower of Terror. That would be one step too far for me. But I'm very happy to ride it with an empty stomach. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? No. <laughs> There's another jet lag person in the house, but he has the day off work. Okay, let's stack these up then. I'm going to move that one over enough that you can tell those are jack-o'-lanterns. And then... Go... Here... And... I want one more layer because I want this behind the pumpkins, but not as the last layer. So one more paper. What else could I put on there? Oh, I could do these pumpkins. Oh, but that's white on white. No, I don't like that one. Keep going, keep going. What about the paper pad? That's where I need to go. 
Oh, Elaine says it was MGM when she went, um, and she doesn't know its new name properly. It's just Disney's Hollywood Studios. So mostly just called Hollywood Studios. Oh, this has the pinky. There's kind of pink patterns in here. That would look nice. Yeah, let's go pink spider webs. Okay. No, Sarah, you are such a rebel. Sarah used to pull out all the extra seat belt length and tuck it behind her. And that way when it dropped, she flew about two feet off her seat. <gasps> I do not have the confidence to do such a rebellious thing. Wow. And one cast member was telling us that you should ride Tower of Terror with your hand out and put a penny in your hand so that when you are when you fly up off your seat and you're thinking, is this just my imagination? You can see that the penny actually does float. And so, no, it is not your imagination. You are being pulled down faster than gravity would let you fall. <laughs> Okay, I know you're only seeing this tiny little bit of that, but it makes a huge difference to me in order to do this and have this feel like it's included in the paper stack. So there you go. That's why I do it that way. Okay, and the same thing up here. Now I am thinking I may cover up Cutie Witchy and her little cat, but we'll see how we go. But I'm gonna use this as journaling space, so I don't wanna lose all that there. Where? No, I put the glue too high. <clears throat> okay. I think I can stick this now. Ooh, this is fun. <laughs> All right, this on top here. Now, I have to tell you about the t-shirt I'm wearing here. Let's see if I can show it to you. You can see it. So it's the old Mickey Mouse Club logo, except Mickey has vampire teeth, and instead of saying Mickey Mouse Fan Club, it says Mickey Mouse Fang Club. And this was like my holy grail of t-shirts. Um, because... Um, <laughs> I was there the year this was out, but it sold out before our trip. And I, so I would see it everywhere um, with lots of people who'd been there earlier in the season wearing it. And I really loved it because I'm this huge old school Mickey Mouse Club fan. Um, and I love Halloween clothes. And so I was like, oh, I wish they still had that t-shirt. And they didn't have that t-shirt. Um, and so I found it on Vinted. <laughs> And I was so excited, so I wore it to Disney World. I'm so jet lagged that I just spilled my coffee trying to drink it, and I'm spilling it on the layout. This is great, Shamel. This is high entertainment value. <sighs> if this is the first time you've watched me, I can only apologize. I'm not usually this much of a mess. I am usually a mess, but not this much of a mess. I'm gonna try again, and I'm gonna take it away from the desk. Okay. Successful on the second attempt there. Okay, are we in frame here? Yeah. What am I gonna call this? My brain just played a trick on me and was like, Psh, it's a Halloween at the castle kind of thing. You can make a title for that really easily. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't do tiles when I'm not tired. Um, so I need to figure out a, a title. AJ said, did you do the Halloween party? We are deciding if a party is worth the cash. Yes, we did the Halloween party. I love the Halloween party with the exception that if it gets rained out, I really feel hard done by because all my favorite things involve the outdoor stuff. And so this time we had great weather for the party. It was fine. Um, in 2019, we attended a Halloween party in the rain. And the parade got the first, they do the parade twice. It's a night parade. They do it twice during the party. 
the first time it got canceled. The second time they ran it, but they walked it um, because if the road is, if the paving, 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 I can speak, words are hard. Um, if the paving is too wet, they won't let the performers dance so that nobody gets hurt. Um, but it's not as fun. And it's very clear that, for, to the, that the performers don't find it as fun as well. Um, yeah. And, but anyway, as long as the weather is clear, I have no complaints about parties. The queues are shorter um, and there's lots of fun things to do. I've done both the Christmas party and the Halloween party and I love it. Um, right. Oh, Joe says she just went over to my Instagram to see if I posted anything. So I decided I would not post while I was there. Um, and I tell you why. When I noticed um, how much people are on their phones at Disney. Um, I have, so I did do a Paris trip. What was that? Last, a year ago I did a Paris trip because it was last November. Um, but... America trip I hadn't done since October 2019 when then I did California in January 2020. The difference in how many phones were out between those dates and these dates was madness. Absolutely madness. Um and so when I saw it and I realized how upset it made me that people were in like a beautifully detailed place where every little thing has been arranged for part of the storytelling and part of the immersion, I'm like, no, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. So I tried um, to not add to anything that I needed to be on my phone for. So you have to be on your phone if you're going to use Genie Plus a fair amount. Um and to see what wait times are and stuff like that, to order your food is all on your phone, which to be fair, order, mobile ordering was great. I will say the Halloween party did not include mobile ordering. It was the only time we st stood in a line to order our food. Um, and I really wished they had mobile ordering because just being able to sit somewhere or do something else while your food is being cooked was way more fun. Um, but anyway, so there's a fair amount of phone usage anyway. And I try not to add to that by not doing Insta and not talking to friends really, maybe once a day I would check in with the kind of people who I talk to all the time rather than having my notifications on. So there we go. Has anybody come up with a title for me yet? Cassie's here. Hello, Cassie. Um, yeah, you, Cassie, you would be shocked. We had no downpours. There was one tiny bit of rain one morning and we were underneath the roof of the, the bus stop and never never actually got wet. So that was fabulous. Um, oh no, Cynthia pulled the seatbelt stuff but got caught and they got kicked off the ride and banned for an hour. Oh my goodness. Ah, AJ says, which trip would you pick if you had to choose? We have two trips through Central Florida next year in August and November, so we could do either. <gasps> Cassie says, fantastic day. Can I spell it? Um, okay, so which party? Um, well, first of all, I think it helped, It would help if, are you more of a Halloween person or more of a Christmas person? Because they both have a special nighttime parade. They both have great fireworks. Um, with Halloween, you're going to get trick-or-treating as a thing. But there's, you know... It, if, if trick-or-treating is not your thing, I don't think you need to, like, weigh the value of the candy you're going to get versus the price to get in. You know what I mean? Um, oh, Corey is right. The weather, weather is better in November. August is miserably hot. Yeah. Um, but it is, the party is the evening, so the, the temperatures aren't as hot. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah's like, yeah, so you get free candy at Halloween. You get cookies and hot chocolate. Um, at Christmas. Um, do, do, do. What hotel did we stay in this time? We stayed at Port Orleans French Quarter. F A N G T second A S T 
I see. I can do it. I can do fantastic. But I only have enough A's to do fantastic and not day. So I need a second set of letters. Do I have day in these orange letters that I've had in previous kits? Yeah. How does this orange look with that? That'll work, right? Okay. Do you like how I'm just jumping right into this album without any planning? I haven't reviewed my photos. I saw before I went live, there was a live chat taking bets on how many photos have I taken. I can't even tell you that number, but go ahead and place your bets and I will tell you on Friday. Um, <laughs> How many photos did I take? I don't know. It felt like fewer than normal, but that might just be in my imagination. Did I get beignets? Yes. I had um, two different flavors. Yeah, I had the normal plain ones and I had the seasonal flavor because it was pumpkin spice. Um, yeah, I really like the pumpkin. It was not overly pumpkin-y, it was, um, but it was, instead of just being dunked in icing sugar, it was dunked in icing sugar and cinnamon, and I'm here for that. I love a cinnamon pastry <laughs> of any kind. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> do, do, do. This is, this is entertaining. I'm trying to spell backwards. Jedi. It's fun. It's fine. I'm going to, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Hello, Sherry. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, does YouTube not like emojis? I could see your winky face. Don't worry, I can see it here. Fantastic day. There were a few things that I was really quite nervous about because some people messaged to say, I went, I think it's rotten now for X, Y, Z reasons. And I had mixed emotions about reading those things because I feel like, one, I mean, yes, if you think it's rotten now, then by all means, have that opinion. And I'm sorry that you didn't enjoy it anymore, but maybe it's time for a different kind of holiday for you. Fine. That's acceptable. Um, but I also find it really weird to be like, <laughs> it's rotten now to somebody who's just on their way. Like, my money is spent. <laughs> I'm not backing out. Um, so I didn't really know what to think about comments like that. Um, were there differences? Yes. Were they all rotten? No. Did we still have some very magical moments? Yes. Um, Courtney says, are we placing our bets on, um, uh, on the, um, the number of photos that just I took, or also the Adhesive Avenger, or and then I'll add on to that, or also how many did we pose for with PhotoPass, because we had that on our uh, tickets as well. Um, and so, do, 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 do. Um, yeah, let's go for a total of all of those. Um, one thing that wasn't working great for us, and I've now heard that it doesn't work great for a lot of people right now, um, our ride photos, they were really inconsistent with whether they would show up on our photo pass or not. And I didn't use a lot of time to go and chase them down. Um, you can. Um, you can just go to photo pass services in the park and say, hey, I rode this ride at this time and it hasn't turned up and then they'll um, find it for you. But I didn't go chasing. Um, we got some ride photos, but not others. Mm. It's okay. Um, yeah, okay, we have, what are we gonna do to embellish this? I've got a title, I've got a space for journaling. <laughs> what embellishments have we got left here? 
um, these dots. Okay. And then I have these like florals. Well, I'm going to use that somewhere. If I got a block, I can put these on. Yeah. Okay. Like that. Yeah, just different is I yeah, I think that's acceptable. Like if you've been before pandemic or and even if you went when before this CEO and now after this CEO, I I don't know how much is to do with pandemic and how much is to do with the change in management. Um so there are changes. Yes. Oh, that would be hilarious if I took 999 photos, but there's room for 1000. That would be brilliant. I have no idea how many took how many I took, but I will tell you for next time. Okay. Um, that one. I'm wondering about working these florals in. I think it can work. Because I got floral in the background. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe that green. Maybe not. Maybe yes. Um, what else we got? Okay, now this big flower, can we use that one? Yes. Do, 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 and some leaves. Let's work all those in. Okay. So, on my sketch. Oh, Sophia sent me a message that I may have missed. Okay, I will look. Yeah, a lot of people in the comments agreeing, blaming the CEO. <laughs> yeah, there's definite changes. And I did find it interesting because we spent one day at Universal. And we don't normally do Universal. We've done it once before when WB was two. And the reason we don't do it is because Universal is largely big thrill rides, which is not our thing. Yeah. Um, WB is too short for a lot there still. And we don't really enjoy spending, like, we can do a couple thrill rides in a day and then we're done. We want to do calm stuff. Like, my favorite ride at Universal is E.T. <laughs> so, let that be what it is. <laughs> um, so, that means that I, well, I was just surprised that Universal has a lot of live entertainment still in the parks while Disney does not. <laughs> Leslie is here to back me up here. Not enough live entertainment. I am so missing Citizens of Hollywood and Citizens of Main Street. And I don't know who I have to talk to to make them see that this is a point. But I'm here for all of you. <laughs> to let them know that this is a huge loss. I, I find it really obvious actually at Hollywood, Boulev at, at Hollywood Studios that when you walk down the roady bits, you're like, there's nothing alive here. This street feels really flat. And um, I don't know why the current management has thought, oh, that's just fine, because it's a huge loss in my mind. I, I really don't get it. Um, yeah. Uh, Carrie says she took about 650 in her August trip. She really expected it to be more, but because she, she thinks it was less because she was the one taking the pictures, but she was also the one doing mobile ordering in Genie Plus. That's a really good point because I am both of those roles too. Um, so I'll have to compare what my numbers were this time to last time. I'll have a look. All right, so I think we're going to bring one group of embellishments in here. I was going to see if I could tuck it that way. It needs to be closer up to the title, I think. Come on. There. Yeah. And then the third one was going to go down here. In this corner, I think. Okay, so there's a start to each one. That could go there with then this leaf behind here and this leaf over here. Yeah? Okay. 
Sorry, little cute witchy. I have her on a, ta on a tag as well, so I'm not hugely worried. Put that one down here. And this one over here. Pam says, did you do any Harry Potter rides? Um, yes, we did Escape from Gringotts. Um, <clears throat> Sherry says, she feels bad for me that I'm not a roller coaster person. And she's guessing I didn't do Hulk. That makes her heart break a little. A little. I watched Hulk and literally felt ill watching it. WB was trying to count how many times it goes upside down and lost count. Um, no, Hulk is a big old no, never, no thank you from me. <laughs> um, Corey says, did Wizarding World ruin any of the books for WB? Did he recognize any of the spoilers? Okay, so the funniest bit, the, the most obvious bit of spoilers, I did not, I'd ask diff different people to tell me where they were and nobody brought up this one and I think it's because you wouldn't, it wouldn't cross your mind. Um, but I'm going to pass it on to you in case anybody else sends a kid who has not read all of the books or seen all of the movies yet to Wizarding World and is worried about spoilers because my kid does not like spoilers. When you ride Escape from Gringotts. Now, the first thing is you can't avoid when you walk into Diagon Alley, there is a dragon on top of the bank. There's a, a, bank, a, a Gringotts bank with a dragon on top. And WB did take one look at it and went, that's weird. Why is there a dragon on top of Gringotts? So far, so good. He was just like, okay, it's a wizarding world. There's a dragon. Moving on. When you are in the queue for Gringotts and you get downstairs into the very bottom, there is a place where you are waiting and there's a shelf all along the left-hand side of the queue. And the shelf has different copies of... Um, uh, uh, why is it just of the Daily Prophet? Sorry, slow brain just went the the magical newspaper. What is it called? Um, yeah. So, um, yeah. So there's lots of different headlines from the Daily Prophet because there's lots of different old newspapers from the head from headless from the Daily Prophet. I cannot talk right now. My brain is going through a million different things at once. Um, and. A lot of them have big time spoilers, big time spoilers in like big newsprint headlines. So I made sure that we turned him and he had to walk the other way through this bit of the queue because um, that those headlines could spoil basically books five, six, seven really easily. Um, so yeah, there we go. That's what we did. Oh, this already has yellow in it and this one is just pink. So I'm going to bring this leaf down here. Was that all of the leaves on here? Have I got any more left? Oh, we have a blue leaf. That's not helpful. I might use it anyway. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so each of those have got a few. Um, oh, yes. Leslie reminds me of this thing that I forgot about. Yes. So one part, is it that Universal doesn't use equity and Disney performers do use equity and on their street performers? So like the citizens of Hollywood and citizens of Main Street were always equity actors, I, I believe. Um, and Frozen is equity actors, I believe. The sing-along Frozen show. Um, and I want to say Hoopty, Hoopty Doo is too. I don't know at what point it stops, um, but yeah, I didn't think about that. So maybe the singers and stuff that you see on the street in Universal are not equity. That might be it. And if you're equity, then you, if you employ equity actors, you also have to follow the rules of the actors union. Um, so that, yeah. So, and I don't know what the, the details are of like, if you had equity actors and then you stop that and you put, then you start hiring 
non-equity. I don't think they can do exactly the same job. I think there's, there's rules about that. I think so. Mm, well, my opinion is that they should just never get rid of them in their first place. <laughs> Nobody asked me, Mr. Chapek, but here's what I'm saying. It's a big old loss. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Nobody cares what you think, Chanel. But there we go. I think it's really obvious. Okay. How many of these have I got? Oh, I've only got square ones over here. Okay. So maybe that one goes there. This one is big. Now, I have ended up with little shots of blue, so maybe add in a blue. To each one. Yep. Okay. No, oh, yes. <laughs> Um, right, yeah, Leslie's confirming Disney uses, yeah, Universal doesn't use equity performers, third party performers only. So there we go. Um, uh, Jackie says, How were character meals this time around? So we did three. Um, we did our what has always been our favorite. And is now not our favorite. Okay. So Tusker House, when it was a buffet, was always our favorite. Um, it had a really good mix of food that wasn't normal theme park food. Um, I really enjoyed the variety of food that was there. I liked the character interaction. And it used to have this conga line dance where all the kids could get up and do the conga with the characters. Um, and the characters took a lot of time with you if you wanted to interact with them now it is family style and it's basically a meat restaurant <laughs> so they bring out this platter that's like lots of different kinds of roast meat and the veg is underneath which I'm just going to shout this out if you have a family that is mixed up um, some of you eat meat and some of you don't which is what our family is so the boys eat meat WB doesn't have any dairy he's allergic and I'm a vegetarian <laughs> so um I, when they, when they showed what was on the list, I imagined that I would be all good with quite a few of the side dishes because they were all different vegetable dishes, but they're literally served underneath all the meat. Um, so a lot of vegetarians would not really particularly want that. I tried to pick the stuff from the edge. <laughs> and then I had the mac and cheese, but the thing was the mac and cheese that I had at Tusker House was the same mac and cheese I had at the hotel where it was five bucks. It's nice, but it's not worth the 60 bucks to have it at character dining. So if you're a vegetarian and you used to love Tusker House because it had lots of vegetarian options, it's no longer the place for you, I'm sorry to say. I was really devastated by that. Um, so yeah, and the characters all came around to the table, but they don't do the conga line dance anymore. They do a dance that's them individually and the kids have to stay in their seats to the point where there's a cast member who goes around and if any of the kids get up and kind of venture near them, they're going, no, 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 you can't do that which I don't quite understand when the characters come to your table and hug you. So it can't be a social distancing thing. Um, it must have something to do with something else. I don't know. Then the characters in general are quicker th now than before. However, when WB would start to interact with them, occasionally we would get somebody that I almost wonder if they had been a character long, like those characters had been interacting with old rules. And if they got somebody who really engaged, they were still cool to just do it old school. Because some of them I felt like they've been told, you must go photo, autograph, move. And then some of them I felt like they would stick around and interact if you interacted with them. Whereas it used to be, if you interacted with them, they would stay as long as you wanted, um, pretty much, within reason. Um, so, yeah, so curious. Anyway, so that was Tusker House. Used to be our favorite. Now the food makes it not our favorite. 
Okay. Um, we also did um, Hollywood and Fine, Dine. Yeah, Hollywood and Dine for the minis Halloween dinner, which we have done in the past and I love. Um, it That one is a buffet. And I had canceled it once because we had it booked for a second day and then after Test Your House, I was like, oh, maybe, maybe character meals are not going to make my heart sing anymore and I canceled it. And then as the week went on, I got a little sad that I had done that and I kept looking back at the menu going, but I like all the things on this and it is a buffet. I want to do it. So I booked it again. I managed to get a lunchtime spot on our last, on the Friday, not the last day, Friday. Um, and we did that and I really enjoyed that one. And the buffet was as it was and the characters didn't feel too rushed. Um, maybe a little, but not too bad. Um, and yeah, so I felt really good about that one. I really enjoyed the food there. WB did quite well with food there. He's not a big eater. And I know a lot of kids, so many of my friends who have eight year olds are like, they never stop eating. And I'm like, my kid is the other end of the spectrum and I have to remind them to keep eating. Um, so that was good. We ended up canceling the one that, um, uh, that, um, that Corey told us to do because the timing just didn't work out. So we had a super early morning booking to, um, the uh, Topolino's Terrace at the Riviera, but we canceled it. And then the last morning we did Cinderella's Royal Table. Now, Cinderella's Royal Table used to be all the princesses coming to your table. Cinderella's Royal Table now is you meet Cinderella either on the way in or the way out, depending on what time your table is. We had the eight o'clock table, so um, you meet her on the way out. I will say, if you have a pre-park opening restaurant booking now. So the park opened for hotel guests at 8.30 and the general public at 9 and we had a table booked at 8. It used to be that if that was your timing, you got in a separate line that put you just with the other people who had 8 a.m. tables to Crystal Palace or Cinderella and you had your own little line over on the side of the main gates and that was that so that you knew you were going into an empty park. Now the people who can go in at 8.30, they can actually go down Main Street at 8. So the reason we were able to get these pictures, and I've got a fab one of WB in his prince costume standing right in front of the castle like, this is my house. Um, and that was because we lucked out as at, they opened a few new um, kiosks, turnstile kind of things, um, right as we walked past. And so we were the first people at a set of scan-in places. I don't, I feel silly calling it a turnstile. <laughs> um, so those were the three we did. Um, and Cassie, I'm sorry to say, Garden Grill Breakfast is still not back. It's still not back. They have afternoon and evening meals there, but not breakfast yet. So no ridiculous amounts of cinnamon rolls. Okay, what else needs to go on this? Gold mist. And then I'm going to have a look through this kit for anything else I can tuck in. <clears throat> okay. Any other questions? I'm going to start doing my um, photo review over on Instagram tomorrow, I believe. I got the last of them off my memory cards and on to my photo cloud today. I need to go download all of the photo pass photos. I tried, I started doing that yesterday, but there were actually still a few magic shots and stuff still showing up. So I thought if I wait a couple days and make sure they're all there, I won't miss them by not going back to look. Yeah. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. All right. And I will give you then that total of how many I took. Oh, and special project. So WB has a big plan and we're gonna scrap it together in this album, which, oh no, I have two, so one of these. So Simple Stories does these six by eight Disney-ish albums. So I have two and he's, oh no, that's not the one, hold on. I thought that was one, it's not. I definitely have one. I might have to. Okay, so I have this one. I can show you. You hear my voice stretching as I stretch up to the top shelf. 
So I have, let's let you dry over here, this, which I bought in 2019, didn't I, Cassie? Didn't I have these delivered to the hotel? Um, so it has all of these bits that come with it. And so this is an older collection, but they do these, usually there's one in their lineup somewhere. It might just be different designs. And then six by eight page protectors with full page, two four by six landscapes, do, 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 or two three by fours and a four by six. And then I've got extra ones that are um, all three by fours. And I might even still have some that are all little squares. And so he started this idea with, well, I, I when he, he did the kit cut, a kid cot stops, which is when you go, um, when you go and get, um, you, you go into each of the country pavilions in Epcot and you meet somebody who's from those countries and you can ask them questions and they give you a little souvenir with, um, with different things. So in the past, it's looked like this. It used to be, oh, that must have been when he was about three. I think this is when he was three. Um, so you got a Duffy Bear that you then took around and got stamped from each country and each country's cast member would give you a little drawing. Now it's no longer Duffy Bear themed. It is um, a little, you get it, it's sponsored by Ziploc, so you get a Ziploc bag. And each country you get a little four by six postcard with a coloring sheet on the back and on the front um, a little space for the cast member to do a little drawing. It has like a few random facts or something about the country and then you get a sticker as well. So, um, I did, um, he did all of that and then we took a picture of him in each country so that he could start, he could do that in like a little mini book. And then when he was looking, when we were waiting for the plane, he was looking through the rest of the photos and he had this like little cute little epiphany moment where he went, oh wait, so I could print out lots of photos and scrapbook the whole trip in my little book. <laughs> yes, you could. So we'll keep you posted as he works on that project too. And um, Courtney says, do they still do the passport in Epcot? I didn't go into any shops to look, but I think you, I'm pretty sure they still do. I still have one that I've never put together and should probably do something with. Um, but I didn't, I, we basically did not go in shops very much this time. And my brain is still not very sure about that. <laughs> Not that I need to get things, but that I really enjoy looking at the merchandise. <laughs> and we basically didn't do that very much. In um, in Epcot, we some of the kid cot stops are in shops. And so there was a moment where I messaged Cassie with a photo of a skirt that's like Mary Poppins skirt. Like, you know, like the white dress that she wears with the little red ribbons and lots of lace on it. Um, and I said, I've been, at, I've been at Disney long enough that this seems like a totally legit um, purchase. I didn't buy it, but Cassie is not helpful because she was like, go on, it's so cute. Cassie, where am I going to wear that? It does not matter. Um, yeah. Um, right, and then there was a question about, do, 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 do. Pam says, what was WB's favorite ride at Disney and at Universal? So at Universal, he loved E.T., which we did twice, and he loved the horror makeup show, which we did twice. Um, and... Um, he did love Escape from Gringotts too, and he kept his eyes open on Escape from Gringotts. We found out that he mostly um, uh, closed his eyes on a lot of different um, thrill rides. <laughs> um, in Disney, I'll have to ask him what his favorite, favorite ride is in Disney. Because I, I don't know. We We did Toy Story Mania and Buzz Lightyear. Um, which are both interactive rides, multiple times. Um, we did Soren more than once. We did Haunted Mansion more than once. Um, yeah, so I would guess that his favorite was in one of those, but I'm not 100%. I'll ask. Okay, any other questions? I think that's us done for today. It is a quicker um, layout than I maybe expected, and I may decide that later it needs more added to it. But I think this is it. And can I pick it up is a good question. Is it going to drip? I think I'm just about good. I was worried about that one. Um, 
<laughs> Elaine says the Jolly Holiday Mary outfit would be great for pink tree pictures. And I think, <laughs> I oh, <laughs> Sophia says, where am I going to wear that from the woman who regularly does Disney bound type dress up where WB chooses her clothes? It's true. And I think if it was a dress, it was the fact that I couldn't figure out what I could put with it to make it like a whole outfit. What do you wear? If it's a skirt, what do you wear on the top half of the Mary Poppins outfit? <laughs> I don't know. Sherry says Buzz is her fave after Space Mountain and she'll get to 999999 someday. I did it. I did it this trip. I found something that got me lots of points and I did it. I maxed out. Um, and the adhesive adventure has done it now too. He had done it once before, but with a little bit of luck that the ride stopped. But this time he did it on a normal way through. So yes, can do it. Corey says, you just wear a simple red top with it. It's fine. Would it be fine? I don't know. All right. So, hold on. Can we, can we get this in a shot? Why has it gone so dark outside? The days are going to get so short now. Right. This way. That way. <laughs> Thank you so much for putting up with my jet lagged face today. Um, well, and you know, my jet lagged everything, not just my face. Um, I appreciate you being here and I appreciate your thumbs ups on the video if you had fun listening to me be silly um, because I don't understand how anything works right now. Oh, including, did I just put the right camera on? No, I'm good. Okay. Um, so there we go. A pretty simple page for today, letting those patterns do all the work. So the pattern paper is beautiful. The page will end up pretty. <laughs> um, and then I'll need to decide as I go through all my photos kind of what my overall plan will be for the album for all of the pages that I that I make for this but here's why it's okay if this doesn't end up fitting that plan if I look through the photos and I make a design choice that doesn't fit with this it's okay because I always take a few pages maybe one two or three from whatever I have done in the normal um, whatever I've done on that particular theme that's going to get its own album the upgrade album and I put them in my normal album, my chronological album for the year. So if this doesn't end up fitting the vibe of what I'm going to have in the upgrade album, then this will just go into my um, 12 by 12 with a little note of see also the whole album about this trip. So it'll work either way. And that's why I don't ever get nervous about that first page. It'll go somewhere. So don't be afraid to just jump in to new photos that are exciting. All right. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to see about doing a live in the middle of the week to go through all the layouts that I have done for the last several months and kind of give you a little um, kind of overview because I am very conscious that I had a big stack that needed journaling and I haven't ever gone through and shown them all to you. So um, I'll do that. Oh, and uh, Stinkerbell says, what did you think of the new distress color? So it's red. I have not watched the um, live stream to see it compared to the other reds. So I need to do that and report back on Friday. Cool, cool. We'll see if I have a kit or not on Friday. It'll be either the October or the November kit. We'll see what we have. <laughs> okay. Have a great week, everybody. Thank you for the thumbs ups. Have, I say have a great week again. All of those things. Yes. Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye-bye.